talks about how the married bedchamber yes. is bedchamber is a place where angels love to so dwell. That's right. Yes. yes. And <laughs> and it's funny because like I'm because in my head it's the nasty, the right. wild right. thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. If angels right. being in that space, right. you're kind of like, whoa. I don't know if I want that. Right. Right. Yeah. But doesn't seem to go together. It doesn't seem to go together. Yeah. Because like it's not unspiritual. Right. It's not unsacred like right. even the language of scripture is like you know the married bed is honorable that's right and is yeah. undefiled. undefiled What's good? What's good, everybody? It's Friday night, and I'm excited to welcome you to the Weekend Exhale with BOL. Maybe it's been kind of a week. You've had some ups, had some downs, had some good times, had some bad times. But I need you to know you made it. The weekend is here, and you can go ahead and find your rest. Listen, it is the second Friday of the month, which means it is time for Point of View. So I'm here with my baby, my boo, Gianna's in the house. How are you feeling this evening? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm excited about what I we're am, talking about tonight. I, I am too. <laughs> I, I think the whole audience is. Yeah. So listen, we, we're coming in hot tonight, and uh, we're talking about sex and intimacy. And before some of y'all get bent or squeamish, don't worry about it. It is in the Word. It is a part of God's plan for us. And we just want to exercise this gift. <laughs> the way the Lord intended. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. We're so excited. Joining us is John and April Nixon. And we are so excited to have them because not only are they colleagues, but they're friends. We go way back. Uh, welcome, John and April. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much for being here. Glad to be here. Oh, Won't you guys having us? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Won't you guys tell us a little bit about yourselves, what you do, kind of, you know, your, your family a little bit, if you don't mind sharing a little bit? We don't. <laughs> well, so, so you want to know, like, what I do for a living or what we do together? Well, together. Okay. And, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're like uh, intimacy experts. Well, okay. not really. Uh, yeah. So we have a we have we have a show. It's yeah. a podcast called mm -hmm. Just John and April. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we started it a few years ago, and it's basically about trying to reclaim what we believe is God's original intent for marital intimacy. Okay. Wow. And uh, so it's kind of like our mission. It's the thing we love so much. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've worked on our own intimacy over the years, yeah. and we think it's possible for couples to be able to achieve that same kind of thing through the Word of God, not just yeah. like, yeah. you know, uh, I don't know, I guess people look at different things to get their right. intimacy right. tips. Right. right. Yeah. But you'd be surprised, it's actually in the Word. It's in the you Word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we try not to embarrass our 19-year-old son. Yeah. Right. And our 16-year-old daughter. That's but, right. You know, That's right. Okay. But it happens all the time. Stuff and yeah. like, oh, look at what your parents are talking about. <laughs> I love it. What made you all want to start this? And, like, was there a burden? Was there a, something you saw that? Yeah. Well, you know, we, we see a lot of shame. Right. Mm -hmm. When right. it comes around, when, it, when it's about, you know, sex and intimacy. And we started off, and we still talk about this, that there is no shame. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And there's proof in the Bible that there should not be shame. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to free people, mm -hmm. you know, right. to enjoy sex yeah. and marriage. So that yeah. was really, you know, working with couples and saying, man, there's a lot of shame there that's mm -hmm. keeping married couples from being able to enjoy what God gave us. So that's so been a passion. So what's crazy, though, is this really started, um, I think in Atlanta, we were doing a lot more weddings. Yeah. We had a lot of young adults coming to us for premarital, premarital counseling. counseling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mostly these people are YouTube generation people. Sure. Yeah. And so one of them came, one couple came to us and said, hey, if you guys started a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. we would so watch it. And April and I were like. I was like, I am not doing that. Yeah, well, we, <laughs> yeah. Like, well, we, well how are we going to do that? You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so another couple that we counseled said something similar. And they just kept coming up. And we said, well, maybe we should. I don't know, maybe we shouldn't ignore this. Maybe we should try to figure out a way. Because sure. yeah. I think we were already feeling this burden and um, I think enjoying 
helping sort of young couples with the foundations mm -hmm. of the building blocks of intimacy. Mm -hmm. And we noticed it was helping them. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, we just couldn't figure out the vehicle. Like how would we do YouTube and not be embarrassed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and April was like, why don't we do like a podcast? I said, yeah. oh man, yeah, we can hide behind the mics. Yeah, I was like, you know what I'm saying? I was talking about no camera. Right, 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 yeah, right, just audio. I was like, yeah. audio, I was like, oh yes, I love that. Right. So that's kind of how it started. And it's what's crazy is I think April, you know, I'm a pastor, so I preach sure. all the time and you know, I'm always in front of people. April is, um, she was a natural. Like mm -hmm. the first time we turned the camera on. And when I think I'm a serious she, introvert. I was like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> but I think we she got wasn't. Some help from she was surprised. Some young people. And, yeah, and they at did. the time, I guess we were young at the time, but younger <laughs> people who were, you know, at the time. Yeah. <laughs> and came to our house, sat down with us, and was like, this is what you got to do. Right. Wow. And we didn't start though until like two years after that. Right, wow. right. Yeah. So right. it took a long time to kind of be like, okay, we can do this. But yeah. the only reason I brought that up is because I think. The younger generation is uh, primed and ready to hear yeah. uh, the things that I think when we grew up were not okay to talk about right, in church. Right, right. They're yeah. ready to hear it. And really, what I think they wanted was um, some biblical guidance mm -hmm. that I guess our parents' generation was not comfortable sharing. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and I think, though, anybody that's pastor for more than five minutes <laughs> knows that this is a whole thing. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. you know, and it's interesting, you know, uh, in church, man, if you want to make people uncomfortable, you talk about mm -hmm. money, <laughs> you, you talk about sex, right? Right. right. And, and it's interesting because, like in the book of Hosea, it says, my people are destroyed by lack of knowledge. Mm. Um, and, but, it, but like knowing yeah. and being informed yeah. is right. not the enemy. Right. Exactly. It's not going to hurt. Right. Right. It's actually going to liberate. It's yes. going to free. Yes. Yes. And it's going to equip people with the tools they need. And, and honestly, you know, I think, you know, that younger generation, like they're hungering for it. Uh, but I do think, you know, those who are middle aged and perhaps a little older, they are not going to express it, mm -hmm. but I, I am very clear. Yeah. Like there is, there is a hunger yes, and, a, yes. and a need That's right. for, for this conversation. That's very true. Um, I think even like the narrative around marriage kind of, you know, gives proof to that. Uh, so that, you know, most people have a lot of, it. actually, let me not, let me not get too far ahead. <laughs> let, me, let me shift into this. So I think where, where we actually go wrong is like there's a disappointment yes. mm -hmm. sometimes in the bedroom. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because there are a lot of myths. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yes, and yes, misconceptions. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think we want to kind of throw that out there. So like so like G, like what were some of the <laughs> <laughs> myths? What's a myth or a misconception uh that you had like before we got married? Like it's gonna be this. Uh <laughs> but it, it wound up not being that. <laughs> So I think one of the things for me, you know, just I was so excited to okay. be married. I was mm -hmm. excited to have this wonderful experience. So I couldn't <laughs> imagine a world where I didn't want to do it. Right. Or like, right. you know, just always in the mood. Right. And, yeah. You know, just like that wouldn't even be a problem. Yeah. Like, I can't wait. Right. Yeah. You know, let's just have this <laughs> moment. <laughs> but I think as you get into marriage mm -hmm. and life and yeah. children and stress and all of those things, insecurity, you know, body mm -hmm. image mm -hmm. and stuff, where yeah. you're just mm -hmm. battling all of these things. Yeah. It's just like, oh, <laughs> you know, you have this yeah. fantasy. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. And then there's reality. Yeah. So yeah. that was one for me. <laughs> so for me, so it's one, it was a negative myth that I, I found not to be true and in, in, in one that I, <laughs> a positive <laughs> one that I found out not to be true as well. Uh, so I think, like, John, I don't know, maybe you can back me up. I think with men... The assumption is that at a certain point, mm -hmm. you're just going to become bored with just being with your wife or one woman, mm -hmm. like just physiologically, you would just get tired. And I think I can say that's not the truth. Like, I do think there is there is a lie out there yeah. that says yeah. monogamy yeah. Yeah, will has an expiration date. Mm -hmm that it will run its course mm -hmm. and it is destined to become dull yes. and lifeless. And, and, and I know that depending on how the relationship is functioning, that kind of pours into that narrative. Right. Um, but I think the other thing 
<laughs> so like, you know how like in movies or in literature you see like the, the couples that take the, the shower together. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a lot more complicated. <laughs> Way more like, complicated. But the, but the main thing is, you know, so <laughs> Gianna doesn't just shower, she boils. <laughs> like, the, the water is so hot, I'm just like, I can't I'm, take I'm, it. I'm done. Yeah. Like, yo, like after like one or two tries, I was like, this, this is it. I'm out. I, can't, I can't hang. I can't hang. I can't hang. So yeah, yeah they, roll, they romanticize. They romanticize. They do. It's nothing like it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. How about you guys? What do you guys see? Like myths, like pre, oh before, goodness. after myths. Uh, we, we we realize that on our honeymoon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Honeymoon will do so it. So funny yeah. Yeah. you honeymoon see on TV, you know, they will go and go and go. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you're yeah. thinking, okay, we're right. supposed to do All that too. Yeah. yeah, right, right, right. Honey, I mean, it was it was so bad because. It was our honeymoon mm -hmm. week or whatever. Right. Yeah. And we were, you know. This is maybe like day, other, day three you know? or four right. or right. something like yeah. that. And we thought we had to, you know, and, and, and we really did. And I did not want to mm -hmm. say, I don't want to do it no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's like crazy is, is yeah. that was, I, did, you know, I didn't want to say it either. And so I, I remember, <laughs> it's either day three or four, right? And we're, we're on this thing. So we're product of the 90s, right? Yeah. Right. And if you can go back and just yes. listen to any of our music in the 90s, yeah, 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 yeah. every oh, song yeah. is yeah. not just all that long, it's multiple times. Yeah. 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 So we're trying to do that. To the break, right. to the break, break of dawn. Yeah, 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 something exactly. like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so here I am, I'm, I'm, saying, to, I'm saying to myself, <laughs> I actually do not want to do it again right, right now. Mm. <laughs> Hope and I'm not and I'm thinking, <laughs> should I say something? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And I don't know I which one of us had said the it. Courage to say, I didn't yeah. have the courage. Mm -hmm. I said, I, I said, babe, say. do you want to do you want to do it again? Mm -hmm. I said, Thank you, love. She said, I actually don't. No. I said, me neither. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> we just hugged. You're like, oh, good, yeah, 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 do yeah. it again. Yeah. We're free. <laughs> We're free. Yeah. 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 But we thought, I thought, man, is there something wrong with me that I don't want to go again? Right, right. And we realized. And I thought I would hurt him. Mm -hmm. If I said no, yeah, mm -hmm. especially our first week, you know? right? Yeah, right. So yeah, we learned quickly. Yeah, we yeah. did. <laughs> and, I, and I'm glad she was okay with it because I'm like, I that's just too often. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, just, you know what I'm saying? I can't. <laughs> Time out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So funny. <laughs> but what's crazy is that a lot of that stuff we find in relationships. Mm -hmm that people yes. have expectations yeah. about what sex is supposed to be like mm -hmm. yeah. from media yeah. media and yeah. whatever the world. And so in my, and I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but in my opinion, where else are Christian people supposed to get right. their ideas about sex from sure. right. if the only people talking about it yeah, is, is on TV yeah. And, yeah. and on yeah, yeah. radio and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. So I think that's probably the biggest reason why we as parents should be a little bit more open with our kids, yeah. Yeah. especially early on, because yeah. they're going to be asking questions. They're going to want to know. Yeah. And if we share these things with them early, then they won't have these crazy expectations. I, yeah. You know that, what I'm saying? That's why I'm grateful for this revolution. Uh, Me too. Because honestly, you know, sex doesn't belong in the backseat of a car or in a nightclub. Mm -hmm. right. you know, it belongs to the people of God. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of who it was ordained for. So, yeah. and I think it's, it's, it's interesting because even as people assess their relationship, it's based upon kind of a, a fantasy yeah. that somebody drew up. Yeah. And so there are a lot of people that are walking around feeling disappointed right. uh, and having this frustrated simply because they have an ideal that is not lived out anywhere yeah. <laughs> right. except yeah. in, in on, a, on a Hollywood script yeah. Yeah. Uh, or in a romance novel. And so I think it's good to, for people to be able to manage those expectations. But I think we're so afraid of talking about it with our kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I think we feel like if we talk about it, they're going to do it. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. right. realize mm -hmm. it doesn't work like that. It does. Yeah. You know? yeah. But mm -hmm. you know, hopefully this will help. Yeah. Yeah. Realize yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. We really appreciate, you know, you all opening up this conversation, especially in the church context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that's just been, yep. you know, a lot of our reality is just mm -hmm. kind of like, shh. But I noticed, babe, even yeah. when you were preaching about sex, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. during the family series, yep. it would be some of the most popular sermons. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even the old mm -hmm. ladies would be in the yeah. back just yeah, they'd be like, hey, yep. shouting. Tell them, Pastor. Hey. Tell them, Pastor. Yeah. So I'm just like, okay, so there is yeah. like this perception. And then, yeah. like, everybody, mm -hmm. you know, right. God yeah. created us to do yeah. this, yeah. you yeah. know? Mm -hmm. yeah. So we shouldn't, it shouldn't be, like you said, shame or just mm -hmm. like hush, hush. We can't talk about it. We should. Yeah, you know? yeah. So that's one of the things about our ministry. What we're really trying to do, right? Yeah. We're we're trying to give vocabulary to Christian people. We're trying yeah. to show them 
it is possible to discuss this in a tasteful way, yeah, yeah. In, in a fun way, in yeah. a sort of lighthearted way. Yeah. It doesn't always have to be super serious, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you don't have to be really crass with it. Yeah. Just talking about right. it and talking about it openly, right. I think, helps Christian people to see. Oh, okay, yeah. this okay, this is God's thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We're trying to normalize it a little bit. And it's so crazy because, like, even the the language, and even sometimes in the church, we adopt the language of the world. So we, we talk about doing the nasty. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And like, so there is, it's always darkness yeah, attached right, to it. Right, yeah. But it's crazy. Like, I remember the first time, and I, it may have been your dad when mm -hmm. I was a student here. Yeah, yeah. And he shared a quote from the, from the book Adventist Home. Yeah, yeah. Where Ellen White talks about how the married bedchamber yes. is, bedchamber is a place where angels love to so dwell. That's right, yes. yes. And, <laughs> and it's funny because like, I'm, because in my head, it's the nasty, the right. wild right. thing. Right. It's, mm -hmm. This is all 90s lingo. All <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be a certain age to get this right. Like even the idea of angels right. being in that space, right. you're kind of like, whoa, I don't know if I want that. Right. Yeah. Because like, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 Like, it's not unspiritual. Right. It's not unsacred. Like even the language of scripture is like, you know, the married bed is honorable. That's right. And is yeah. undefiled. undefiled. And yeah. no, but it, it, there's a lot of unlearning, yes. I guess, that, that yes. has to happen yes. so that that shame can be removed. Well, yeah. you know, uh, many believe that sex came in after sin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like my yeah. students, wow. you know, I, right. I was a teacher for 20 years and my eighth graders, when I said God created sex, they, sex, they, they gasped. It was yeah. like, whoa, <laughs> what? Like, right. sex? Wow. how could you say that, you know? But I think, I think we have to take it back. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because right. it is yeah. God's. Yeah. And it was created before sin, yeah. you know, yeah. so. I think important. one of those myths that we've heard a lot in the church is like, you know, doing it on the Sabbath, yeah. you know, <laughs> right, honoring right. the Lord's day. Yeah, right, like, right, what do y'all right. think about that? That's one of our favorite questions to answer. <laughs> so we actually have this thing that we do uh, in our premarital counseling where when we're talking about, um, I think, the, I think the, the lessons on intimacy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, sex and marriage. We have this list of ten things that we ask our couples. It's basically a game called thumbs up. Right. We make them sit back to back, <laughs> and then we call out a particular sex act. Mm -hmm. And you're supposed to put your thumb up if you think that it's God ordained. This is okay for us to do. Mm -hmm. Put your thumb down if you don't think it's okay, and then put it to the side if yeah. you think we're not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then we just record it, and then we kind of tell the, you know, we have like a conversation afterwards. Well, you've said thumbs up on that. You said thumbs down. Why do you, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. And one of the things in our list is sex on the Sabbath. Yeah. And very often, what especially the, like the real Adventists yeah. ones yeah. are like, oh, the real, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Ron, oh, is he so yeah. wrong? He's wrong. And then he's like, nope. nope You're not supposed to do it. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so this is also something that uh, I heard from my dad, right? He said, just think about the creation story, the creation week. Yeah. And when you go back and look at it, mm -hmm. you notice on the sixth day, after God creates Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. he gives them the sex command, be yeah. fruitful and be multiply. Fruitful. We, right. we all know about yeah. that. Right. But I, I don't know if we ever noticed the timing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so God created Adam on the sixth day, mm -hmm. but he created Adam first and didn't create Eve right away. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. The Bible says that between his creation of Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. He has Adam name the animals. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, Ellen White says right. the reason he did that is because he wanted Adam to notice his incompleteness. He wanted right. him to appreciate more when Eve was created. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, so not only that, the sixth day, the Bible says God created the animals. So he creates the animals first, then he creates Adam, then he has Adam name all the animals, then he puts them to sleep and creates Eve. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the day has gone by. Yeah. yeah. Presumably, yeah. by the time Eve is created, <laughs> right. it's probably close to sunset. sunset. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's the sixth day. It's followed right, by right, the seventh right. day. Exactly. Yeah. So, so this is what my dad yes. said. My, my dad said, so do you think after God gave Adam that command, do you think Adam and Eve waited till Sunday? <laughs> Sunday. Yeah. 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 Probably right. not. Right. 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 They may have been bringing yeah. in the Listen, Sabbath. There was no sin. There was no sin. He was obedient to the command. So this is what we really say. What we really say to people is, you know, your natural reaction to think that it's wrong to have sex on the mm -hmm. Sabbath mm -hmm. is based on your idea yeah. that sex it's is wrong. sinful yeah. Yeah. Right. and yeah. that it's wrong. But if it's holy, mm -hmm. what better time to do it on this holy day? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know that makes people uncomfortable, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. No. But I don't think that's wrong. I, I actually think it's part of God's and design. And you'd be surprised how many young people 
mm. have thumbs down to Oh, yeah, them. all yeah. the time. Because they just don't know. Right. Woo! This conversation is hot, honest, open, and transparent. We are so grateful to the Nixons and the Snells for talking about this on POV. Listen, tune in third Fridays for Vision Lab, where we hear about individuals casting vision for things that God is gonna do for them. We wanna make sure you tune in at 8 p.m. every Friday, but right now, let's get back to POV. But I do think though, part of that narrative is based on our perception of God. Yes. So I think part of us believes that God is anti-pleasure. Yeah. I think we kind of put God in a very utilitarian yes. yeah. kind of context in like, he's just a functional God. Right. Right. But God is not functional, even in creation. Like he didn't create the world in black and white. Right. Like it is full of color yeah. and life. Yeah. Like food has flavor. Yeah. Or even sex. <laughs> like, I mean, if, you know, if it didn't feel so good, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I mean, like he put that for man, he created that way for man's enjoyment yes. so that we would continue to revisit yes. <laughs> this yes. particular yes. space, yes. Yes. not just for childbirth, but right. for connection, uh, to be replenished, to be restored. Yeah. Uh, if, if you really think about it, it's how we're different from the animals, yeah. right? I mean, God put this instinct in yeah. the animals to mate. Mm -hmm. And there's no indication that it feels good. Right. I, yeah. I, you know, mm -hmm. scientists don't say anything about yeah. them doing it for the pleasure. It's very of functional. It. Yeah. It's a functional yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. So if God just wanted to be functional for us, he could have mm -hmm. done the same thing. He could have right. just put something innately in us yeah. that says, yes. we have to respond to this. It doesn't have to feel yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think God basically wanted us to be able to yeah. enjoy. Mm -hmm. it, that's amazing that's because right. like animals, like they go in heat. Right. In a certain season. That's yeah. right. Where like humans don't function like that. So mm -hmm. it's not like, all right, we go in heat once right. a year. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm or every two years. Like right. that's not how God did it. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. pretty amazing. By the way, mm -hmm. uh, our proof, we always say this to people, our proof that God meant sex for enjoyment for married couples is the existence of the book Song of Solomon. Mm -hmm. There's no yeah. other reason. Oh, sure. If you read it, right. yeah. there is not one utilitarian yeah. thing it in is, there. That's right. It doesn't yeah. ever mm -hmm. mention pregnancy. Yep. Mm -hmm. It doesn't ever mention, you know, I can't wait to put a baby yeah. in you. It's it, nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, you know what yeah. Yeah. It's the language yeah. of satisfaction. That's it. Yeah. It's what it is. Yeah. It's the yeah. literally just yeah. enjoying each other. Mm -hmm. Describing their bodies. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. So 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 to me, that's like the manual for husband and wife to really enjoy intimacy. Yeah. It's, man, you see, it's like, um, it's like he knows his wife's body. Yeah. Like he studied it. He studied yeah, it, yeah. And she knows his. Yeah. And it's, Come on now, man, it's so. Right. Yeah, yeah, hey, listen, yeah. The descriptions yeah. and This stuff. is the word for somebody this Friday night. That's hey. right. Hey. You need to go to school. That's right. Right. You need to go to school. That's Open the word. The word. Go to school. That's exactly right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. For couples who maybe aren't experiencing that satisfaction, mm. Right, where they're they're having some struggles. Mm -hmm. What what are your what is your advice? Mm -hmm. How do they Slowly navigate that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess this is a cliche answer, but you have to communicate. You do. Yeah. But I think it's easy to communicate when you know you hurt my feelings when you do this, or you know I don't like the way you talk to me. But to say I would rather you do it this way mm -hmm. in the bedroom, in the bedroom, <laughs> or I don't like that. Mm -hmm. That's hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think for women, it's very hard because. I don't want to crush my husband right. if I have to tell him right. I really don't like that particular thing. Mm -hmm. Or I'd rather you do this. Or can you do it that? Because it kind of yeah. kind of says you're doing it wrong mm -hmm. or whatever. And so I think I think it's hard to communicate. We already have a hard time talking about sex, right? right. Mm -hmm. right. And talk of, talk to your partner about the things that you like or don't like. Yeah. that's mm -hmm. difficult. Mm -hmm. But I think that's where it starts. You yeah. have to. You when, have to. I don't remember when this started. It wasn't day one. But at some point in our marriage, we started this, it's almost like a pillow debrief. talk debrief. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, like right after. Right. Yeah. 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 Have a little discussion. How was that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Raving yeah. when I was a top okay. 10. Right, exactly. Okay. Stuff like that. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't make it fun. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, it, but it helped. And so, and yeah. April's probably okay with me sharing this. So, so, oh, we, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. some, sometimes we sometimes we try different things and we don't yeah. necessarily consult each other. It just you know, right. yeah. mm -hmm. you know. And uh, there was one time, there was one time Abel tried something and I really didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's the exceptions. Yeah, yeah. The exceptions always that the man tries stuff. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So but, you're, not, you're a 19 year old. He's embarrassing. Right. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's embarrassed right now. <laughs> He's embarrassed yeah, now. If he's yeah. watching this, he's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I, I didn't enjoy whatever this thing was, and um, I didn't, communi I didn't yeah. communicate it in the moment. Yeah. I, we, we just kind of went with it. 
And at the end, we like we normally do, April said something like, you know, what did you think? <laughs> I yeah. Like, you know what? I really, I really didn't like that. Mm -hmm. I was actually embarrassed. Yeah, <laughs> she was. I was actually very embarrassed. Mm -hmm. But but I'm so glad he told me. Think about it. If he didn't tell me, right. I would do it again. Right. right. Yeah. And he'd be like, Oh Lord, here right. you go. You know, right. that's yeah. not good. Right. Mm -hmm. And then maybe you would avoid the next time. Right. Yeah. Which right. happens. So you I know. do want to say that though, and and maybe there's some couples that need to hear this. If you don't have a culture in your relationship of being able to communicate openly about yeah. that, yeah. then there is some time avoidance. There, there are times when yeah. either husband or wife might be avoiding that intimate time mm -hmm. because they're sort of maybe repulsed by the thing that you want to do and or, or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe there's something that they would like to do differently that they don't have the courage to say and again, yeah. sometimes it's just shame. It's, mm -hmm. yes, what yes. will that make me look like right. if she knew that's what I wanted right. to yeah. do? Right. You yeah. know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Th mm -hmm. Those are all yeah. things that I think you got to be more comfortable with. And it only happens when you sort of just talk about it. But we yeah. do yeah. believe in mutual consent. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So sure. if, if he doesn't want to do that, yes. then it's off the we table. Don't. That's right. right. You know, it's yeah. off the table. Yeah. Yeah. But communicating that is very important. Yeah. yeah. So I think one of the things I, mean, I think is an underrated part of this, that dialogue, is mm -hmm. exploration. Mm -hmm. Like the assumption that we know what to do. Right. right. Or even if you have some sexual history before you get married, like, you know, there is no like this idea that he or she is good in bed generally. Mm -hmm. right. Like at the end of the day, you, you ha I have to be an expert on you mm -hmm. yeah. and vice versa. Like right. there, yeah. there are very few things that just overlap right. <laughs> or right. go across right. the board. Right. Yeah. And I yeah. think that's one of the things that brings destruction. And so I do think that like, you know, taking that journey of exploration indefinitely yeah and not making mm -hmm. assumptions because i think as you age things yeah. change yes yeah. uh you adjust yes. you mature yes you just get old yeah. i don't know yeah. it's just right yeah you know, what, what right. used to rock don't, don't rock no more right. you know what i'm right. saying right. so you have to continue to explore so yeah. i think you hit something right there man yeah. i think that's huge you said earlier mm -hmm. one of the expectations that you had that you were pleasantly surprised was not true yeah. mm -hmm. is that you thought that at the longer you did this you yeah. get bored with mm -hmm. one person yeah well, okay it is not true mm -hmm. you do not get bored right mm -hmm. and you don't get bored because of what you just said mm -hmm. if we make this an exploration a journey yeah. it's like uh, i heard this i guess from my dad too yeah. you know, most of the stuff i heard from him <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. is is you know let's, let's bring him on the panel <laughs> People assume that to be like a macho man mm. is to be able mm. to satisfy a bunch of women. Right. Mm. Yeah. But it's actually more Preach. like a Come bigger deal yeah. to yeah. satisfy one woman one for woman. a lifetime. Yeah. 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 yeah, very much. You see what I'm very saying? Much. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. And, and when oh, you yeah. become a student of your spouse's yeah. body, mm -hmm. yeah. It, it never gets old. Mm -hmm. yeah. You, you, yeah. you never run out of material. I mean, you always yeah, yeah, learn yeah. something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's weird, man. Run out of material. Yeah. But, but, but I definitely feel the same way you do. Yeah. I, I, mm -hmm. I wasn't sure going in. Mm -hmm. I thought, based on everything you see. See. Or here. Or yeah. here. Yeah. Um, this is, we, at some point, we're going to hate this. Yeah. But, but also, nah. also, being comfortable, not only communicating what you like and don't like, but communicating, hey, do it this way. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, this is how I like it. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you yes, right. what I want you. I think right. we have a hard time with stuff like that. We do. But I also want to say the, the debriefs. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys have the same experience, but I feel like after sex, it's such an emotional moment mm -hmm. physically. Yeah that you're open to listen yeah, yeah. so that's yeah. really a great time i mean mm -hmm. i've even brought up things that have nothing to do with so i was like you know what? let me say this now you know yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good time because we're open yeah. she you know? literally has had issues like let's say we had some argument and she didn't want to talk about it because she wasn't sure the timing was right she has actually talked about something that bothered her earlier in the week mm -hmm. right after mm -hmm. a nice session yeah. And she's right, I'm wide open to listen. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm no problem listening, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All the strength is gone. Yeah. All, the, all the spite is gone. That's right. Listen, all women, this is this is free game right That's here. Right. Right, right, right. Listen. That's so true, man. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, man. You agree to anything. Right? That's right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you I've want. I've learned baby. that too. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I wanted to buy the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she hasn't done that yet. No, 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 that hasn't happened. No manipulation. <laughs> but you know. Right, right. <laughs> I love that. Oh my um, goodness, man. One other thing we want to ask about is some people, you know, whether through their childhood or through, you know, 
different histories mm -hmm. have been exposed to different things that are outside of kind of what God's ideal mm -hmm. for the marriage bed. Um, what would you say to somebody who's trying to kind of get back into a place of wholeness in their experience and view of intimacy? Um, they've got a lot of baggage in their mind, yeah. you know, pornography, um, yeah. different types of experimentation or abuse, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. How do people, couples, navigate that very real yeah. um, reality? I think one of the biggest things that April and I have been trying to normalize, besides the <coughs> sex talk, is this idea of getting therapy. Mm, yes. yeah, and I, again, this is a generational thing mm -hmm. because our kids and younger people have literally no problem with this at all. Well, they asked me, my, my daughter's like, I need a therapist, mom. Right. <laughs> yeah. And it's okay. Right. Yeah. It's not yeah. a and big we, deal. Will we, 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 we have ever said that as kids? No I mean, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It's okay. like, nah, because you don't want to admit that you have any problems. Right. Mm -hmm. So people that have had serious traumas, mm -hmm. we really say, yeah. you need to be getting yes. therapy. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. Individual and maybe yes. even couples couple. therapy. Yes. It's, yes. It's, it's really important. But I think... The word unlearn is mm -hmm. the thing that we would say yeah. uh, to a lot of couples too. You got to get in the word and start, I guess, uh, seeing things differently, mm -hmm. seeing this is God's thing, trying to right. get in touch with areas of intimacy and things like that, that we believe God intended a particular way. Mm -hmm. And I think literally rereading that, you know, the Bible talks about mm -hmm. meditating on the Word of sure. God. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. I'm talking about, you actually have to do that to mm -hmm. sort of rewrite some of the things. Yeah. And you have to yeah. do that continuously yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. because I find myself, even after 25 years with the same woman, and we've been married 23, so I guess yeah. we've been together 27 then. We dated like three or four years. Anyway, yeah. it's been with the same woman for a long time. Even yeah. though that's the case, there are times that the old shame stuff creeps back in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have to like push it back down. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to go back yeah. to the word and remind yourself mm -hmm. of what God had intended in the first place. Yeah. That's why I think these conversations are so good. Yeah. You got to keep re revisiting that stuff. And I think accountability with each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, if there has been a problem in the past, okay, babe, ask me, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, yeah. or, or, you know, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to come to you every week. We're going to come together every week and talk about, you know, mm -hmm. did you have any issues? Mm -hmm. You know, what mm -hmm. happened? You know, mm -hmm. I think that's very important. Accountability. Even if it's not with your spouse, yeah. you can have yeah. accountability partner. Mm -hmm. yeah. That really helps because when you know you have to answer to somebody, mm -hmm. whoa. We actually, we actually do something. Yeah. We actually do this yeah. thing where every time I go out of town, mm -hmm. I tell April before I leave, if I'm going without her, mm -hmm. I say, babe, when I get back in town, I need you to ask me the tough question. Mm -hmm. And we know what that is. It's yeah. like code. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when I get back, so first of all, that helps me because I know I'm going to have a lot of alone time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you, you understand how sure. it is when mm -hmm. you're, um, mm -hmm. when you're um, emotionally drained sure. after mm -hmm. being with yeah. a lot of people, people and things yeah. like that. Yeah. And you retreat yeah. to the hotel, hotel. room by yourself. Mm -hmm. and yep. it, it's, it's a, it's it's not a, a, there's no accountability. That's right. 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 So nobody's there. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? And it's so easy to access on your phone, yep. your mm -hmm. laptop, or sure. whatever. Yep. I don't want to lie to my wife, and she knows when I'm lying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I know I have to answer this question. So that's a little piece of accountability, because mm -hmm. she doesn't want to ask me that necessarily, because yeah. she doesn't want to think that she's thinking about it and I'll be suspicious, or she's suspicious the whole time. If I give her permission, and I know I'm going to have to answer that question when I get back. That's just a little yeah. piece of accountability. Mm -hmm. yeah. It just yeah. keeps you on that straight and narrow sure. a little yeah. bit more. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, very much. And so yeah. when there's been a breach yeah. of trust in your relationship, mm -hmm. you need stuff like that. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just to and protect you. It helps you. with trust. It yeah. does. Yeah. It does. It helps yeah. keep that strong. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. 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 I love that. So the, the term intimacy and sex, sometimes we use them interchangeably. Mm -hmm. I don't know, ladies, would you want to maybe <laughs> and tell us, you know, there's sexual intimacy. Yes. And then there's intimacy. How would you kind of... Uh, differentiate the two, like mm. in kind of practical terms. Maybe help out the brothers. <laughs> <laughs> help us out. Help us out. I, I mean, we've talked about it a lot, you mm -hmm. know, in our marriage. Like intimacy starts yeah. outside of the bedroom. Oh. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, yeah. and I think again, there's that myth, like you know, you just come home from work and there's this steamy hot sex that happens just automatically right. but there's been some seeds that have been planted mm, right. you yes. know mm -hmm. and I, I just want to encourage the brothers to plant the seeds, <laughs> plant the seeds. outside of the bedroom yeah. yes right. yeah right. Um, because when that happens the bedroom is an automatic response yeah. you know mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to hey can I wash the dishes
anxious for you. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, I'm sending you this text. Hey, how can I help? Mm -hmm. Like every woman and every man has mm -hmm. a love language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speak that language, yes. become a student mm -hmm. of, yeah. of what turns your partner on, mm -hmm. what helps them relax because those things that you do outside of the bedroom yeah. just make all of that easier yeah. because mm -hmm. we're all carrying a lot, you mm -hmm. know, through life mm -hmm. and through, and when you're bringing that into that space, <laughs> it can feel heavy. Yeah. But when we have planted those seeds yeah. before we get there, mm -hmm. it just makes things just okay. pop off a little more. <laughs> pop off a little more. Okay. And I think everybody's different, so you have to, like you said, study your spouse. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because exactly. They, their outside of the bedroom could be different. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? right. Yeah. And like, for example, I'm words of affirmation. So we were going cycling one morning. And John wants me ready. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the door, right? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh, I forgot my phone, or I forgot my whatever. So I forgot my stuff. Lord, <laughs> Lord, this is very triggering. Okay. Very triggering. Very triggering. But I'm saying we we had nothing to do. It's right. a Sunday. Yeah. Why That's you tripping? Right. You know. Right. You know. Right. What's right. Right. Anyway, right. So I I was ready to go, y'all. I was like, I was so happy. I was at the door, and then I. Was, I got my little thing that holds my phone or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, baby. He said, okay, no problem. I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, okay. I was like, oh, I got to go to the bathroom. He was like, go ahead. I'll, I'll. Mm -hmm. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Right. Right. So when I was ready and I got out, I just hugged him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. And I just yeah. rubbed him. I yeah, was like, yeah, oh, yeah. you didn't even get upset. And he was like, oh, he was like, that's yeah. all it took? Right. I'm like, was like, that was easy. It was yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's that simple. Right. Yeah. Sometimes it's simple. It's like. Just speaking to me with kind words mm -hmm. and, and and not tripping or or mm -hmm. nah, yeah. I don't mean you be tripping. Oh, you know yeah. I'm <laughs> not getting frustrated. We be tripping. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 not getting tripping. frustrated yeah. over something that really yeah. isn't not that deep right. yeah. in the moment. That's right. You know. So right. Yeah. Um, so I think that's a very simple way. Yeah. yeah. And then I want to show him how much I appreciated hey. that. Mm -hmm. Right. Hey. So, yeah. so the yeah. funny thing is the exact opposite is true too. Um, we will have situations where uh, we telegraph mm -hmm. tonight's gonna be the night. Yeah. I cannot wait to see you oh, later. Yeah, you know, yeah, so we yeah, we yeah. both Woo! anticipating sure. it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll say something. <laughs> you, you know, I'm from New York, so normally, you know, I'm you know pretty blunt with what I'm saying <laughs> and stuff. And I may say something wrong, maybe an hour before <laughs> she gets home, mm -hmm. where we're on the phone or something yeah. like that. Yeah it literally takes her completely out of the mood. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is literally something we've been anticipating the entire day. Yeah. And we knew this was going to be a and great he's time. And ready for it. I'm like, do you remember what just happened? Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 right. You don't even yeah. know what happened. Yeah. So, so <laughs> I don't know what it is about us as men, and this is an overgeneralization, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. for some reason, I don't know that we connect the two. When, when we can we, compartmentalize. We can. Yeah. That yeah. might be yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe that's yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Because mm -hmm. we make a declaration that tonight's the yeah. night. Mm -hmm. Hey, tonight's the night. Tonight's you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing going to mess yeah, that up. Right. And we're going to push through. Yeah. We're going to yeah. push through and make sure it happens. You know what I'm saying? But, but, our, but, but our wives, I think, yeah. need something different from yeah. us in order to be able to stay in the mood or get in the mood in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. It's it all starts way out of the bed. It's all connected. Yeah. Yeah. It's all connected. Yeah. And we have a lot on our minds all the time. Right. Like We're always thinking the kids, what we got to do, and the other. You guys can like put that over there. Right. So we don't want to add to, you know, and now here's something else we have to think about. We have to solve this first before we, right. you know. Right, right, right. So, yeah. And that's hard to understand when it doesn't happen to you right and I right. think you for know. me it, it takes a while to really it's man that's a that's a wide turn in terms of your thinking to really think like that and understand that as, as husbands so I have kind of like this thing it kind of embarrasses you know when I do it but I I kind of look at kind of the physical act as being kind of a mirror of where you are emotionally yeah. so kind of what I tell husbands all the time is when you're connected at the head mm -hmm. the heart mm -hmm. the parts follow that's it mm -hmm. and then head heart <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's it. That's that's, that's kind of that's, that's kind of how, how it goes. Yeah. I think that you know you can invert the order every now and then, right? Mm -hmm. But that's probably not going to be a habit. You know? Yeah. Uh, and so, so uh, we believe sex is a physical sign of a spiritual reality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. all all that means is sex is physical oneness, mm -hmm. yeah. and when your spiritual and emotional oneness is at a high, yeah. the physical oneness is going to follow. It follows. Yeah. That that's actually why it is mm -hmm. that they say 
people in their 70s who have been married mm -hmm. 30, 40 years mm -hmm. yeah. enjoy sex more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. than people when they're younger. And we can attest wow. to that. It's yeah. gotten better over the years. Yeah. And mm -hmm. right. yeah. I am not as physically yeah. fit as I was in my 20s when we first <laughs> right. got married. Sure. Yeah. 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 But, but it was never about, we didn't know this, yeah. it was never about you know how long we could yeah. go or yeah. Yeah. what yeah. the position was or, or yeah. the gyrations. Working, working or, you know, all the wrong muscles. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that didn't even matter. Yeah. What, what yeah. it really was yeah. is when we're emotionally and spiritually one, yeah. Yeah. our physical oneness is more enjoyable. Yeah. It's yes. that simple. Period. Bottom line. And yeah. you know what? That really goes along with in our counseling sessions. I'm, I'm always one to say, you know, we talk about the communication. We talk about all these different things. And then we leave sex on the side. Mm -hmm. You know, it's its own thing. Like you said, it's yeah. nasty, you know, mm -hmm. y'all, whatever. But it's to get, it's all together. Yeah. Yeah. This works together. So yeah. we shouldn't separate it. No. You know, but it, that you have to put the shame away in order to bring right. it together. Right. And, and there's this reciprocal thing, which yeah. I think you referred to a second ago when you said sometimes you can invert the order. Yeah. Uh, there are times when, true. Uh, so I, we believe that um, because sex is a physical sign of a spiritual reality, that not only is the sex better when you are emotionally and spiritually one, mm -hmm. but also the physical oneness feeds the yeah. emotional and spiritual yeah. oneness yeah. too. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So it has a reciprocal relationship. Each one feeds the other. Yeah. So every so often mm -hmm. when you're beefing with each other, yeah. Your problem may be you haven't been physically one yeah. recently yeah. Oh, enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. that resolves the resolve whole thing. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So every Absolutely. now and again, it if you can't figure out why y'all uh, yeah. issue, right. y'all might need to go in the bedroom and have a session, and then yeah. it'll fix yeah. your problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not all the time. And, and mm -hmm. that's mutual submission. Sometimes you have to submit. Yeah. You're right. You mm -hmm. may not want to. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I got to do this. Yeah. Yeah. It's been this long. Right. You should be happy on the other. Right. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I see them wrinkles forming on the other. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> it wrinkles it. He's it like, I don't know why, but uh, I'm yeah, yeah. uh, <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Yeah. But yeah, in closing, we just want to ask, um, where can people find you? What are the resources that you mm -hmm. all offer for couples who want to build or even maintain the strength of their intimacy? Yeah. We have a 30-day intimacy challenge thing that we do. Okay. Um, people can find it on justjohnandaprilcom Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, no, just just, just, just John and April. Your website, com. It's our website. Yes. Your dad's website. No, it's not my dad's. No, no, no. My dad has nothing to do with it. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's our website. And just um, John and April on all the platforms. Yeah. Right. That's true. YouTube and, and um, Instagram. Instagram, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, we really, really, really love interacting with couples. And by the way, we have had some non-Christians who deal with us. Mm -hmm. um, and it's amazing how you can be really basing everything you do on Christian principles yeah. and not telegraph that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. even people who mm -hmm. are not believers can benefit from it mm -hmm. and love would that. love it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So anyway, we, we just enjoy it yeah, we so talk much. about our four pillars of total intimacy mm -hmm. so it's basically mm -hmm. with the conversation spiritual mm -hmm. reality you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. is included in there so mm -hmm. yeah I stuff. love that. People need to find you on Instagram. You all have some funny reels. You yeah. make yeah. this topic so approachable, Trilogy. so relatable. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I'm so glad that you all were able to come and join us. Mm -hmm. We were too. It's been Thank a you great for having us. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's worked out perfect yeah. timing to do it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Listen, it's been a blessing here. Uh, we want to thank you guys so much for joining us for the weekend exhale uh, with BOL. This is Point of View. Gianna, you have a final word you want to share maybe with? The ladies or the brothers, uh, just a quick final word, just, just before we close. I just want to admonish them, like you said, mm -hmm. to do their homework. Yeah. You know, get yeah. into the so word to tonight. Go yeah. to school. That's what it Go is. Yeah. Go to school. Mm -hmm. um, God is our guide. He wants to bless this area of our lives. Mm -hmm. Pray over it. Circle it in prayer. Pray mm -hmm. through your bedroom. Um, allow God into that space and see what he will do. Okay. All right. So, so listen, that's the final word. Listen, thank you all so much for joining us. Do me a favor. If this helped you, if it blessed you, if it ministered to you, if it added any value to your life, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that share button. Um, you know, copy the link, send it to somebody, send it to a friend that they might be blessed as well. And then uh, right after we close, there are going to be some ways uh, that you can support the ministry here at Breath of Life that are going to come up on the screen. And we pray that uh, the things that you give and the donations that you make, it allows us to be able to fill up the television 
uh, screen and the internet streams with gospel filled, spirit filled content that's designed to bless and help and improve your life. God bless you. Have a great week. And then we'll see you next week right here at the exhale. Thank you for tuning in to Point of View. Listen, The Exhale with BOL is here every Friday night at 8 p.m. Central. Make sure you hit that notifications button, you like and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. This mission, Breath of Life, that we're trying to move forward, your donations help. So make sure you look in the descriptions in order to find out how you can give. In the meantime, check out these playlists and catch up on old episodes that you have never seen before or maybe want to see again. And we will see you there. In the meantime, we'll see you next time.